Hello everybody and welcome to part 20 of our Cottage Living Let's Play. I can't believe we're on part 20. That's insane to me. That's feels like we've been doing this for like not that long, but also forever. So I can't believe we're on part 20 though. Anyway, welcome. Today we are going to have to do a lot of repairing around the house. In the last part, Thomas and Venus started dating. Yeah, and we also lost our good friend, Red. So it was a bit of a all over the place episode, but you know what? I think it was totally worth it. Thomas is feeling excellent from an excellent holiday, had his first kiss, got into a relationship. He has a new partner. He's finally over Rami. He loves handiness. He's feeling refreshed. He's a little bit hungry and he's living in a tiny home. Uh, Venus also has her, had her first kiss. She's feeling rejuvenated from camping. She loves cooking. She's hungry. She is in a dirty environment, which we are working on. Her holiday was not good. I don't know why she got a boyfriend, so I don't know why it's such a bad holiday. Forgotten birthday. We actually didn't forget her birthday. We just, somebody ate the cake before we got, like, before we could celebrate her birthday. So we had a birthday party. Don't worry. A little less single. She's feeling a little weird because um, Venus was a single and loving it sim, but she now has a new relationship. So a new relationship is a happy event in any sim's life. Venus can't help but wonder if this means she'll have less time for herself. Interesting. Totally valid. And of course, living in a tiny house. I also did give Venus a different hairstyle just because I, I just thought, you know, she's at a new stage in her life, so she should. And one thing I wanted to do, though, is Thomas bought us this rose, and I'd like to plant it. Um, okay. Oh, and today, actually, what we'll end up doing is going to the festival. So, um, let's see. We need to just build our relationship with Curly a teeny tiny bit more. And then we need to shear Curly, and then we're going to take Curly to the festival. Um, that starts at like three o'clock, I think. So, oh, and we need to harvest all of our plants. We can evolve that. Venus's hard work has paid off. I heard you and Thomas started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Thank you, Lavina. I really appreciate that. I'm sure my relationship with Rami is like horrible now because I'm dating her ex. <laughs> all right, we got six bull wool. We got six things of beige wool. All right, so Thomas, what are you doing over here? You're making some breakfast? Great. And Venus, you're just gonna do this, I think, right? We need to also change it to our bee outfit and we need to collect their honey. And um, then we can, uh, wait, where is she going? Oh, she's harvesting her plants. That's what she's doing. I was like, what is she doing? No bee. Okay. okay. Also, B. No drinking from the toilet. <laughs> oh, and we can evolve our strawberry bush. How are we getting stung? We're wearing a beekeeper suit. Venus's hard work has paid off. We need to remove our beekeeper suit. Uh, okay, Venus. <laughs> and we need to bond with our bees a little bit. And what's this? Kitty Wells and Maybell Carter are doing fine. Dolly Parton is still a chick. <laughs> She's been a chick for way too long. Oh, and our environment is just so dirty. Um, let's have Thomas help clean up some of this stuff. And then we'll have Thomas also take... Where's B? There she is. We'll have him take B for a run because she needs to get out of this house for a little bit. Oh, was this ready to evolve? Heck yeah! He's gonna take B for a run, and she went. Okay, so Venus wants to call somebody on the phone, so I think you know who we're gonna call. Oh, what is this? Awkward personal rift. Venus is a per people person, so the cl decline in her. Oh, he got married! Oh, I guess it kind of worked out then. If he just got married. I wonder if Rashida has gotten remarried. Has she? No, she has not. Interesting. Oh, Raylan aged up. Aw. Okay, let's see. Let's in let's um call. I wanna call Kim and just talk to her for a little bit. 
And, oh, what are you doing here, Sarah? I mean, hi, what's up? Let's, um, invite her inside. It's neighborhood brawl day. Should we fight her? Let's do that. Let's fight. Just for some neighborhood brawling. <laughs> what is this? She wants to be mischievous to Thomas. Interesting. Let's up. Oh. <laughs> let's offer to help her with her errands because we need to make some money. So let's see what she needs. We're just gonna do all of them for her. All right, so we need to deliver four raspberries to her, deliver a blueberry, a raspberry, and a choco berry, order a drink, and then we need to offer the village package to the right sim. Do we have raspberries? Let's see. Evolve. That one can evolve. That can evolve. That can evolve. When is this? Fall? Oh, so like we have to wait a long time to do this one. Oh, we can go buy one, I think. I think we have to probably go buy one. Oh, and I think they're hungry. They probably need some feed over here, huh? Scatter some feed nearby for them. And we need to collect their eggs. All right, I think something else we should probably do is we should invite over Thomas's family and have them come to terms that um, their father has a girlfriend who's calling him. Rashida, I'd like to come over. Rashida, you can absolutely come over whenever you want. You don't even have to ask. What's wrong, Rashida? Let's tell her an unbelievable story and we can be funny to her. Tell her a funny story. Be mischievous. <laughs> we can brighten her day. And friendly. We can ask about her career. And let's also maybe... I want to get to know her. I need to know what some of her... her you know, interests are. Discuss interests. She's like, you know what's funny? Uh, oh, she doesn't like comedy. But she's like, you know what's funny? Um, your dad got divorced your mom and then started dating me. <laughs> and she's like, um... What? <laughs> Try to calm her down. Alright, come over here, Thomas, and just say hi to your daughter. Oh, we can ask her about her f her future plans, which we should probably know about. After all, we are her dad. Oh, are the the fair has started? Okay, who's calling us? Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Thomas is dirty. Let's throw him in the shower really quick, and then get engaged to Venus. Oh my God, dude, things are moving fast for you, Thomas. Fluffy has died. Rest in peace, Fluffy. Get engaged to Venus. You guys just started dating yesterday. All right, let's go put um Curly in our inventory. Actions. Put in inventory. It means a lot that you make time for me, just so you know. Oh, Rashida. Of course I make time for you. I feel like we should maybe find... I mean, we've done it before, but I feel like we should go and find Rashida a partner. Oh, we need to clean our freaking llama. And then we need to put our llama in our inventory. Oh my gosh, Thomas, put on clothes. Okay. Be mischievous. He still wants to get engaged to her. So, I mean, I'm going to save that. I think that once we travel, though, it will... It will go away. But still, like... Things are moving kind of fast for Thomas. Like, Thomas was like, I like you. Okay, look, he still has, like, a relationship technically with, uh, with Emerson. Like, he still hasn't called that off because this relationship with Venus is so new. And he's already wanting to get engaged. All right, let's come over here. Let's, oh, Thomas doesn't have it in his inventory. Venus does. Venus wants to be mischievous. We can do that. So we'll submit an entry, and then we'll also submit an entry for our wool. We're going to put curly in there. And normal quality. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, wow. This one is blue. Let's view our competition. 
Ooh, this one's pretty interesting. View competition. Can we compliment fair entry? And we can compliment her fair entry. This wool looks so soft, I just want to cuddle it. And this is... You know what? Um, I really wanted to find somebody for Rashida. Oh, who are you talking to over here? Jillian. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's evil. Oh my gosh. Okay, fitting. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Come over here and let's um, be mischievous. Let's do what's that spot. Who is that? Shauna? I can't believe this child is evil. That like makes so much sense. Let's um, let's do a little kiss kiss. Oh, this guy just like freaked out about that. I don't know why, but he did. We're working through our relationship. Thanks for helping us through it. We need to find somebody for uh, for for uh, Rashida. Oh, what are we doing? Just eating a pie by ourselves? That's kind of sad. <laughs> wow. Okay. These fairs are very anticlimactic, which makes me kind of sad because they're like kind of cool in theory. But oh, look, Thomas is just eating in here by himself. Why don't you come out here and eat with your girlfriend, dude? Come sit here. We can have him hug her lovingly. The festival ends in an hour. Romantic. We can give her a little kiss. Buy an object worth 500 simoleons. Buy a bee box. We already have a bee box, girl. Let's do... Let's just flirt a little bit. And our relationship with our daughter is still bad. I feel like we should maybe go talk to her. Let's go ask her about her favorite color and about her day and about her career. Go talk to your daughter, please. Oh, apparently not. Oh, okay. Did we win? We got a participation ribbon. This is malarkey. A participation ribbon and a third place ribbon. What the heck? We had the best. We had the best. All right. Well, I guess we can head home. Um, I really thought we were going to win because we really had like the best of the best, but I guess not. What is the next fair that we have then? The next fair will be the chicken fair. So we need to like get like a golden egg or something. So we need to figure out how to do that. I think we can figure that out in our notebook, right? Let's head to bed, and then we're going to send Thomas to bed, and then in the morning we will figure out what, what we need to do to get the best chicken possible. Look at it! It's the ghost of Red! Oh, hi, Red. This makes me so sad that he's just a little ghosty dog now. A little ghosty dog. Okay, so Thomas just woke up because Red decided to be a scary little scary dog. And, uh... <laughs> oh, it's summertime! Awesome. New season. Alright, let's have him come and harvest all of these uh, for us. And Venus can come over here and apply a mite treatment for her bees and bond with them. She's gonna get stung. But, you know what? It might be worth it. And then I'm thinking that maybe today we can invite over Thomas's family for some dinner. So, let's see. We can do add to here. We can do a dinner party. We can invite, obviously, us. And we can invite Thomas's family, so the Watsons. So, we've got um, Imran. And Rashida and, My and Myra. And we can invite them to come to dinner tonight. And we can... Actually, what if we did like a lunch? We can do like 1 p.m. We'll do that and then we'll have her come over here and take a shower. 
and then we will have her cook. Oh, we do have an animal in our inventory I forgot about. Okay, we're going to make this. Oh, I can only make a single serving? Oh, what the heck? I went all the way down there for this. I don't know what this is, but we're going to make this party-sized. Okay, Thomas, I'm going to have you come over here and set the table with casual settings. And then I'm going to have him... Can he cook anything for me yet? Scrambled eggs, pancakes, chocolate chip cookies. I think that Venus can do the chocolate chip cookie. Alright, and then Thomas, can you come over here really quick and just clean this up? Start the dinner party, please. And then have him empty the trash. Okay. So, let's have Thomas... You know what? Never mind. You know what? We're just gonna call everybody to the meal. Come here. Come here, everybody. We're gonna call to the meal. Our animal shed is not good. Okay, after this, we need to definitely have Venus come and also put um, actions. Wait, how do I... Where's my animal? How do I put them back in here? I have forgotten how to do that. You do, what, actions? No. I don't want to purchase a new animal. Uh, Thomas. Look at him, he's arguing. This is a very, um... This is a, this is a hard. Yeah, see, look, he's not he's not having a good time with his family. They're like, we see. Basically, what's happening is I think Imra and Myra are very upset that he's dating Venus, but Rashida likes Venus, so she's like, whatever. I like Venus, and so he's feeling very frustrated from his family being upset about about it. Ooh, brighten his, brighten her day. <laughs> Complain about local youths. Heartfelt compliment. Um, friendly. Ask about hobbies. Zarkini. Discuss neighborhood changes. Tell an engaging story. Alright, Venus is over here working her butt off. I want to put my freaking animal back in here. How do I do that, though? Alright, after we did that, we can come sit over here again. You know, for somebody who doesn't like comedy, Rashida sure does laugh a lot. What are you doing? Thank you for coming. Describe a new idea. Flatter. Um, let's do... Ask about day. We need to find... You know what? Why don't we call Raul over and see if Raul would be interested in going out with her again. Well, I think that went, like, the way that... The best way we could potentially want it to go. But, um, it didn't go great. Okay. Let's come over here and... Friendly. Um... Let's do friendly. Other Sims hook up with no, not no, no, friendly. Other Sims talk up. Other Sims ask about Raul. I'd love to get to know him. That was great. I'm glad I got to know them. Great. So why aren't you married yet? Don't you guys like each other? Like, how, isn't it like part of your lore that you've been dating since you were like children? What is going on over here? Boo! Do 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 do. Drop that egg. 
All right. We need to figure out how to get these two. I think they're they're not dating apparently, but they should be. All right. So we are just over here being acquaintances, and we need to take. Okay. So I just want to be able to take my egg and sell it, please, from that freaking fox. All right. I hope that they get together. I love that Thomas is still sleeping in his bed, even though, like, he can sleep with us now. <laughs> oh, really quick, Thomas, before you head to bed, I want you to come feed B, please. And throw away this here. And then we can head to bed. Can you guys go home? Oh my gosh! Okay, so I just have to go check their, like, um, genealogy, and I guess Imra actually had a daughter, Chastity, with Juniper who's married to him! Oh my gosh! Wait. Oh! <gasps> Chastity Novak. Oh, Thomas has a granddaughter. Oh, and nobody else is married, but. And then there's Jillian the demon. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that. He has a granddaughter. Wait, we need to meet her. How do we meet her? Wait, okay. We need to go figure out where our granddaughter is. Let's see. I want to see if she's at Dan. I would like to go over to your house. So I'm going to text you and see if you want to hang out. We also need to use the bathroom, so let's do that. I'm also getting a little worried that they're getting a little old to have kids now that Thomas has a grandchild. I don't think that Thomas is interested in having children anymore. Like, I think he's kind of over yeah. it. You know, like, he's already done it. All of his kids are grown. Um, and I don't think he wants to have another one. But, see, that's something that where him and Venus are going to severely disagree. Because Venus does, in fact, want children. Um, or at least a child. Whether that's through, like I've mentioned before, um, adoption, surrogacy, biologically, stuff like that. Um, and so, yeah, this is going to cause some strife in their relationship. Because now that I know that Thomas has a, has a grandchild, there's no way Thomas is going to want to have a child. But he does want to marry Venus, so I don't know. All right, I'm going to have the two of them woohoo because they need to. They've been woohooed in a while. Thomas is also kind of dirty, so let's have him take a shower afterwards. And then we need to harvest all of our plants. Oh, evolve. Some of our plants are ready to evolve. Okay, and then what do we need to do? We need to deliver four raspberries to the pub owner. We don't even have any raspberries, and they only grow in the fall, so we have to wait until the fall to do that. All right, well, let's head to town, try to go see if we can get some raspberries, and hopefully we can. All right, so let's see. We need to come over to Kim, who is very pregnant. Woohoo, go Kim. And we need to haggle with her a little bit. See if we can get a nice discount. She said no. She always tells us no. Oh, we can. All right. Buy something. We need to buy some raspberries. Does she have any raspberries? I don't think... Oh, she's got two. I think we still need one more, though. Maybe if we're lucky, um, the Crumble Bottoms will have one. Let's come and buy some garden items. Aha! Perfect. Alright, great. So we can actually come over here and bring these raspberries to Sarah. Thomas, what are you doing talking to Emerson? Let's come give Cecilia a heartfelt compliment since we're here. Ask her about her hobbies and gossip about the neighbors. Let's have him really quickly. Wait, who are you? No, you're not. Flirt with Venus. 
Cody's here. I'll say, hey, what's up, Cody? Brighten day, tell him a dramatic story, and share people person's tips. And Thomas, propose a crazy scheme to someone. I don't think there's anybody here for us to propose a crazy scheme to. I cannot believe that Thomas is a grandfather and we don't even know his grandchild. I wish that we knew where she was. I mean, if we text Dan, maybe he will invite us over to his house. Rashida's calling. Yes, I will talk to Rashida for a little bit. Hug somebody. All right, and then we need to use the restroom, so Venus is going to use the bathroom. We have enough money now where we can um, build a fence for our llama if I can figure out where our llama is. Rashida has spread some juicy gossip about Imra. We'll do a funny introduction because Venus always loves to meet new people, so let's just introduce ourselves to this person here, Donna McPherson. Um... Ugh, can you go home? Alright, I'm gonna send them home. We got what we needed when we came down here. And when we get home, I'm going to just do some small renovations to the house. So I did a slight renovation. I did add some more patches over here. And I bought some flower packets for us to open. I also did give the llama a nice place to be. I don't know how to put my llama back in here, though. Oh, there we go. Apparently, Thomas had it in his inventory. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, let's see what we've got. We got... I think I had Thomas open them, actually. We had some flowers... We can do that. We have some choco berries we could put in there. We've got these blueberries that we could put in there. And then we could just sell the rest, I think. Or maybe not, actually. <laughs> and then... Okay. We can have Venus come over here and plant these all up. And then we can purchase some, not fertilizer, we want to purchase some oversized crop seeds. So we'll do uh, mushroom, pumpkin, and watermelon. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. Okay, then we'll just do mushrooms and, yeah, okay. Plant, no, we want to plant oversized crop. We're going to do mushrooms here, and we're going to do eggplants over here, aubergine over here. And then we need to water all of our plants. Okay, well I'm thinking that maybe this is a good time to end this part here. So if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know and I will see you in our next episode. Bye!